Alright, so for this video we are going to learn how to add some texture to our metal using the roll mill. So I have a long strip of brass that I'll be using for this and then um, some steel texture plates uh, that you have available for you to choose from um, in the studio. So they're a little bit rusty, a little bit dirty, some are a little bit curved. They have been used by other students before but they still have patterns that are um, sustainable for your piece of metal. So the first thing that we need to do is we have to anneal our metal. And annealing again makes it malleable, makes it soft, um, and helps us have more of that texture applied from the roll mill. So I'm using a 180-1 or the biggest torch tip. I have my quenching bowl of water uh, and my striker. So I'm going to put this on um, the charcoal block. Again a quarter turn to just turn the gas on and then strike my torch with my striker. All right, so now uh, to anneal, just a reminder, you wanna get your metal red hot. So because I have a longer piece of metal, it's not all gonna be red hot consistently. The smaller your piece of metal, um, the more hot it becomes uh, you know, as quickly. This, I have to do it piece by piece or section by section. So I'm focusing my heat on one corner at a time trying to get that red hot and then moving along the piece of my metal. So as long as you get every section of your metal red hot um, at least one point throughout this process it will still be annealed. So it will take a little bit of time and as you can see the fire scale uh, it gradually goes through my piece of metal because that heat has to spread out and by the time it, spread up, it spreads out you know it gets a little cold. So I am using um, the biggest torch and I am trying to aim as much heat as possible so I'm getting as close to that blue cone tip as I can on my piece of metal. So that corner's turning red, that corner's turning red, and I just want to make sure that the middle is just as soft. And just a reminder, you can anneal your metal over and over again if you are doing a lot of forming or a lot of texture work with it. Just know that it does get pretty soft and fragile if you are hammering it or thinning it out through the course of annealing. But for this uh, video, we're just going to roll a texture onto the surface of the metal. So we're only adding it once. All right, so I turn my torch off. I will grab a tweezers. And I'm going to very carefully, carefully, carefully not use that one carefully pick up my <laughs> carefully bigger pieces of metal are sometimes a struggle to grab okay here we go so I throw it into the water making sure it's all submerged and then I can pick it up with my hand and because this is a piece of brass I want to make sure that I'm putting it in the super pickle so I will have to come back and flip it after five minutes to get the other side because it does not fit in my super pickle so we'll come check back on it in five minutes and then flip it so I have already flipped it and see it's like a little jacuzzi and that's how you know that the super pickle is working and I would just want to get the majority of the fire scale off so if there's still a sum left over that's okay um, we can sand it off and I'll show you that later but I'm going to rinse it in the sink getting all the sides getting my tongs making sure it's mostly back to brass all right so I've rinsed it all off I'll put my tongs back then I have some paper towel to dry off my metal and get some of that lingering fire scale off. You do want to make sure that it's pretty dry for this process because that's how the rust ends up on these texture plates. Um, so the less rust, the better in this case. So I'm drying that off, throwing my paper towel away, and I'm going to grab the texture plate that I want. So I'm going to go into the metals lab. And the roll mill, I want to make sure that it's nice and loose and open. So I'm turning it to the uh, left, so counterclockwise. And then to tighten it, I turn it clockwise. So I want to make sure it's pretty snug and that my metal is on top of my plate. And it's kind of a process. You're going to have to practice a little bit to feel out how deeply you want to emboss or imprint your pattern. So for this video, um, I go in one way and I'm turning the arm of it. And you'll see it kind of pulls out and curves. That's okay. So I have a little bit of an imprint on it, but I'm not satisfied with my, with my print. So what I want to do is I'm going to put it back on 
and go from the opposite direction. Now I don't recommend doing this all the time because sometimes it can slip and you get a weird imprint. But I'm going to tighten it. It shouldn't ever be stuck. If it's stuck, that means it's too tight. You want to make sure that it is moving and that you can see your metal and the plate go through. It will be tight and sometimes you have to use two hands to pull it. But as long as it's moving, you should be good. And I will be honest, it's at a weird angle in the studio. So a lot of the times I just drop it on the floor. <laughs> so it's okay if it does drop on the floor. Again, we're going to make it look better. But I'm more satisfied with this embossing and this imprint the second time around. I can see more of that texture. So now um, you could sand it, you could file it, you could polish it if you want to. But if you don't like that it is rounded like this, um, I'm going to show you after I sand some of that off so you can see the texture how to flatten it again. So that's pretty shiny for now. I'm going to walk over to um, this area by the drill presses. I'm going to grab a steel block and I'm going to grab a wooden mallet. Don't grab a ball peen hammer and just tap it against that surface to flatten everything out. Now I'm not trying to dent it, but I am trying to go back to that original piece of metal that I had, if that's what I want. Do both sides, flip it. As you can see, I still have a lot of cleaning up to do and finishing, but that texture is not going to go away unless I anneal it and um, sand it off. But now you can see the texture, it's shiny, I sanded it, I polished it a little bit, and that is the roll mill and the effects of the roll mill adding texture to metal.